Welcome to Interactive Medicine. In this section, we can study the foramens present in the skull. First, we can see foramen cecum. It passes emissary vein to the superior sagittal sinus. Let's we can see the groove for superior sagittal sinus. It is uh, located in the frontal bone. You can see here. The nasal slits present. It passes the anterior ethmoidal vessels and nerves. We can show the medial wall of eye orbit. Here, the anterior ethmoidal foramen. Through the anterior ethmoidal through this uh, anterior ethmoidal foramen, the anterior ethmoidal vessels and nerve passes through posterior ethmoidal foramen. The corresponding vessels and nerve passes. We can see the creepy, uh, foramens in the cribiform plate. Through uh, through this olfactory nerve passes, we should remember the pathway, the olfactory nerve through the olfactory bulb, olfactory tract, and it divides into olfactory stria. One is gone upward and it is downward to the piriform lobe in the temporal pole. The cribiform plate lies between the cristagalli which we can see at the center. Next, we can study the optic canal. It is present in the lesser wing of spinoid bone. Through the superior view of cranial base, we can see it. Here is the another view from the inside the uh, orbit of the eye. It passes optic tract and ophthalmic artery of trigeminal nerve. Let's try to see optic canal from the spinal bone itself. The optic canal is uh, present in the spinal bone. We can see here, yes. Also, we can see here the optic canal. It is present in the less, uh, lesser wing of the spinal bone. Next, we can study the superior orbital fissure. It is a slit. It is formed by the greater and lesser wing of spinal bone. Here is the superior orbital fissure. The right and left. In this skull, we can see superior orbital fissure here. The contents of superior orbital fissure are uh, oculomotor, trochlear, abducens, frontal, lacrimal, and nasociliary branches of ophthalmic nerve. Here is another view of uh, superior orbital fissure. Here is, we can see. Superior orbital fissure. Next we can study the foramen rotundum. Foramen rotundum named because of its round shape and locates in the greater wing of sphenoid bone. It passes maxillary nerve of trigeminal nerve. Uh, in the spinal bone itself, we can see the foramen rotundum here and here. Foramen rotundum is lies in the greater. Uh, here is the ovale foramen ovale. Just posterior to foramen or uh, rotundum, we can show the foramen ovale. It has oval shape. It uh, it is located in the greater wing of spinal bone. The condenser 
mandibular nerve accessory meningeal artery and lesser petro lesser petrosal nerve here is the foramen spinosum uh, just uh, posterior lateral to foramen ovale and the, what are the its contents it passes the middle meningeal vessels that means middle meningeal artery and vein Middle meningeal artery is the branch of maxillary artery and middle, uh, middle meningeal uh, vein drains into uh, petro, uh, petrous plexus and finally to maxillary vein. Here is the inferior, from the inferior view of uh, cranial base, we can see the foramen spinosum and the foramen ovale. Here we can see just uh, medial to uh, foramen ovale, we can see sphenoidal emissary foramen or foramen of Vesalius. Vesalius foramen locates in the medial aspect of uh, medial aspect of foramen ovale. It may be present or absent. We can see in this curve or oh, it's its the right side. The next one is foramen lacerum. Foramen lacerum is formed by sphenoid, occipital, and petrous of temporal bone. It passes the uh, greater petrosal nerve. Here we can see the lacerum. Next, we can study the carotid tunnel. The, on the inferior surface of petrous part of temporal bone, we can show the opening of the carotid canal. The internal carotid artery and internal carotid nerve plexus enter the cranial cavity through uh, the carotid canal opening. We can see carotid canal here. From the superior view of cranial base, we can see the carotid canal. And the internal carotid, carotid the internal carotid artery final finally reaches to carotid sulcus of sphenoid sphenoid uh, through foramen lacerum. In this aspect, we should remember the cavernous sinus located on the lateral sides of uh, cella tarsica, and the internal carotid artery is passed through the cavernous sinus. And next is the hiatus for lesser and greater. Here is the lesser hiatus and groove for groove for lesser petrosal nerve and here is the groove for greater petrosal nerve uh, the greater petrosal nerve is going to foramen lacero and the lesser one is going to foramen ovale the next one is the internal acoustic meatus locates in the posterior medial uh, surface of uh, petrous portion. It passes uh, the facial nerve, vestibular cochlear nerve, and labyrinthine artery, which is the branch of basilar artery. The facial nerve leaves from the skull through styloid foramen present between the mastoid process and styloid process. We can see here. And the opening of vestibular aqueduct. We can the opening of vestibular aqueduct. This may or may not be present. Just to behind to internal acoustic meatus, it passes and don't affect that. Next one is mastoid foramen is inconsistent. That means it may be absent uh, in some patients, but we can see this foramen in this skull. Here it is uh, passes emissary vein and occasional branches of occipital artery. Mastoid foramen locates posterior to mastoid process. We can see in the 
inferior view of the cranial base. Here it locates the mastoid foramen on both sides. It uh, present posterior to mastoid process. And next one is jugular foramen. Jugular foramen is formed by temporal and occipital bone. It passes inferior petrosal sinus, glossopharyngeal nerve, vagus nerve, accessory nerve, sigmoid sinus, internal jugular vein, and posterior meningeal artery. From the superior view of cranial base, here is the jugular foramen. Here we can see the jugular foramen. Okay. Here. And one can see the groove for sigmoid sinus in the mastoid portion of the temporal bone, and it becomes the groove for transverse sinus in the occipital bone. You should remember the sigmoid sinus pass through the jugular foramen. On the okay, you should remember sigmoid sinus is passed through jugular foramen, and uh, on the top the petrous part of temporal bone, there will be a groove for superior petrous sinus anterior medial to jugular foramen we can see the inferior uh, petrous sinus the groove for inferior petrous sinus next one is the condylar canal which is inconsistent it locates uh, posterior to the occipital condyle it passes emissary vein and meningeal branch of ascending pharyngeal artery here we can see and next one is the hypoglossal canal we know hypoglossal canal passes the hypoglossal nerve or tooth next one is foramen magnum foramen magnum is the large hole in the skull Multiple arteries spinal roots of accessory nerve are passed through this hole okay friends thank you have a nice day